Use chalk to draw a four square court. Each square is eight feet by eight feet, but you can make it bigger or smaller if you choose. Number the courts as shown. In the game, the inside lines are considered out because they are shared lines. And the outside perimeter lines are in. So if you hit a ball and it lands on an inside line, you are out. But if you hit a ball and it lands on an outside line, you are not out and the ball is still in play. The object of Foursquare is to eliminate other players and make it to the number four, also known as the royalty square. This is done by bouncing the ball underhand between quadrants. The ball must bounce exactly one time before hitting it. A player is eliminated when the ball bounces twice in their square, hits the ball out of bounds, can't return a ball, hits it overhand, or hits out of turn. To begin the game, the royalty square, also known as the number four square, will serve underhand to the number one square. When serving, you have to have at least one foot behind the service line. Before you serve to the one square, always ask, are you ready? After the serve, you may hit the ball in any square as long as it is underhand. If you get out, you leave the square and go to the waiting line. Everybody left in the game shuffles over and the first person in the waiting line comes in always to square number one. Here, the person in the number four square has gotten out because the ball bounced twice in her square. So, the person in the three square slides over, the two square slides to the three square, and the one square slides to the two square. And that leaves an empty one for our waiting line to fill. When you play the game, you should not stand in one place. You can move all around the inside of your square and the outside of your square. If you want to make it to the royalty square, you're going to need to be prepared to move quickly at any moment. Here we're going to look at different ways you can get out in four square. First one, hitting the ball out of bounds. Here, the person in square one hits the ball out of bounds. She is now out and goes to the end of the waiting line. The first person that is waiting then moves into square one. Anytime a new player comes to the game, they always feed into square one. Letting the ball bounce twice in a square. Remember, the ball has to bounce exactly one time. So here we have one, two bounces, so player and square number one would go to the waiting line and the next person would feed on. Another example of letting the ball bounce twice in a square. This time it's our server. She's gonna bounce the ball once, twice, and then she hits it. That is more than one, so player in square four is out. Serving to the wrong square. Our server in square four is serving to the two square. That is illegal. He has to serve to the one square, so square four is out. Hitting the ball before it bounces. Remember, the ball has to hit exactly one time before you hit it into another square. Here we see the person in square one did not let it bounce, he just hit it, so square one would be out. Here's another example of not letting the ball bounce one time in the square. This time it's our server. He tosses it up and serves it without letting it bounce in his square. So, the royalty, number four square, is out. Bouncing a ball on the middle line. Remember, the inside lines are out and the outside lines are in. Here we see that the person in square number two has hit the ball on a middle inside line, so that means it's out, so the person in square two is out. Hitting a ball that was another player's ball. The server has served a hard-to-reach ball into square one. Even though this is a tough corner serve, square one is still responsible for hitting the ball since it bounced in his square. We see here that the player in square two hits a ball that did not land in her square, so square two would be out. That hit belonged to square one. Hitting the ball overhand. When you hit a four-square ball, it should be underhand, so your palm should be facing the sky. Here we see that square one hits it with his palms not facing the sky, so that would be an overhand hit. Square one would be out because he completed an illegal overhand hit. To complete an underhand hit, your palms should be facing the sky, as shown here. Catching and throwing the ball. Here, square one catches the ball and throws it into another square. This is not an underhand hit, so this is illegal. Square one would be out. 
If there is a dispute, the royalty square decides who is out. However, if the dispute involves the royalty square, the rest of the group decides or rock, paper, scissors is used. In this situation, the royalty square is involved in the dispute. The group is nicely deciding what the correct call is and finally decides to play rock, paper, scissors. Reminders, always say, are you ready before you serve so you know everyone is prepared. Kindly teach others why they got out. The game is more enjoyable when everyone knows the rules.